Hey guys, what's going on? Zebs here from Designs Academy bringing you the second part of tips and tricks for beginner designers. Uh, you guys really liked the first one, so I decided, hey, uh, let's make a second one. I could also make a third or fourth one if you guys wanted. I have that many things to teach you guys. But anyway, this, not weak, this second part includes uh, more of beginner kind of getting into the intermediate place, kind of. So, uh, first thing use other people's stuff now what I mean by this is not copying them exactly like stealing their ideas using their packs using their light rooms using everything they use exactly how they have it use other people's stuff but modify it a lot or modify it to your liking modify it so it's unique but you know so it's not copying that person that you got it from so that one's kind of a smaller topic but anyway uh, second part is learn how to use the software <laughs> it's kind of important to you know, to know like such as if you're a 2d designer it's kind of important to know how to use Photoshop all the features of it and such to make better looking content um, same for 3d designers cinema 4d is the way to go learn how to use the software uh, by learning new things that people haven't seen uh, because if you if you do the same thing that everyone else does, the same style, the same everything, you're just like everyone else. That doesn't really make you unique at all. So try and learn the software, learn different things to do with it. So that same goes with uh, the third topic: new plugins. Uh, when learn look for new plugins around the internet, not popular plugins such as Nitro Blast for 3D designers. Learn, or not learn, look for new plugins that are very unknown, or if you're, hey, if you're a coder, I guess make your own plugin, but something that would be creative, bring something new to the table for the graphic design slash Call of Duty community. Um, fourth topic is, nowadays, I see a whole bunch of people, like, trying to do multiple things, like, they try 3D, they try 2D, and they're both, like, they're not good at either one, which is understandable because they're a beginner designer, but what I did was I learned one topic at a time, which is a, it's kind of a good idea because I'm at, oh, sorry about that. I mastered 3D first. Wow, the Twitter messages are real. But I mastered 3D first. I got really good at 3D. Well, I wouldn't say I'm really good, but I mean, I know like, you know, I wouldn't consider myself a beginner at 3D, you know? I. I know my way around 3D. I mastered what what I think I mastered in 3D. I did. So now that I've done that, now I'm trying to master 2D. So I've been learning 2D. That's why I've been messaging a whole bunch of 2D designers, getting idea or not ideas, but tips, tricks, things like that, what they do, so I can like make my own style with 2D something new. Uh, but that's what I do. It's however you want to do it. I'm just giving tips that worked for me. And this one is for a lot of people, not so much the beginner designers, but uh, when you're losing motivation, um, usually it's because you're getting bored of it or something along the lines of that because you're doing the same thing over and over and over. It gets kind of boring and repetitive after a while, which is why you lose motivation. So when, you, when that happens, yes, it's happened to me before. Lots of times I've lost motivation to do things. I just did different types of design, like, for example, when I'm losing motivation for design, I just kind of learn something new, like 3D for a while, I do that for a week, and then I'm, hey, let's do some 3D, I'm in the mood again, you know, but try different types of design that you usually don't do, like, don't do your usual thing, just try new things, or just take a break until you feel like you're ready, which is what most people do, but they never really come back to design which means that it wasn't really something they were interested in, which is fine, that's their choice, but hey, it's just my opinion on things. Uh, but that's all the topics for the second part. If you want a third part, which will go in depth of uh, more intermediate designers, uh, just leave, put it in the comment section below. I could give some more tips. If you want longer videos about these tips, just leave it in the comment section below. You guys make the videos kinda. You guys give us the things to make the videos. Anyway, that'll be all for my tutorial. Not tutorial, but tips, 
tips and tricks tips and tricks for the second part hope you enjoyed it and hope you found something useful out of it that you can do to make your design better and i'm zebs and i'm out peace